Since its announcement in 2017, Saudi Arabia's groundbreaking Neom City has turned heads, set benchmarks, and brought visions to fruition. Neom stated that the mega scheme, which will cover 26,500 square kilometers in northwestern Saudi Arabia, will contain 10 distinct developments that it terms regions. Of these regions, the line, a planned 170 kilometer long city, is by far the best known, most ambitious, and most controversial. Along with the line, Neom is also constructing an octagon-shaped floating port city called Oxagon, a ski resort called Trojina, and a luxury island resort called Sandala. For a long time, Neom comprised of these four main regions, then, like a domino effect in development, Neom sparked local and global excitement in the last few months following the revelation of several new futuristic destinations in its pipeline. Originally clouded in mystery, Details of the planned megadevelopment in northwest Saudi Arabia are now becoming clearer following this series of announcements. After years of waiting and wondering what will come next, Saudi Arabia has finally unveiled all 10 regions that will make up the vast Neom Mega Project. Today we will explore these regions one by one, allowing you to visualize the bigger picture of the Neom Mega City that is slowly but surely taking shape. Region 1, The Line by far the best known and largest project within the Neom development, the line is planned to be a city for 9 million people that will stretch 170 kilometers across the north of the country. The entire city will be contained within two parallel 500 meter high, linear skyscrapers standing 200 meters apart that will be clad with mirrored facades. The line will run entirely on renewable energy with the aid of artificial intelligence, with no roads, cars, or carbon emissions. A high-speed rail similar to the Hyperloop will connect sections of the line, allowing people to travel from one end of the city to the other in just 20 minutes. The concept for the linear city was created by U.S. studio Morphosis, with numerous other architects set to design individual 800-meter-long sections of the city. Work on the line at Neom began in the first quarter of 2021, and a progress video revealed dozens of trucks and cranes operating at the site. Satellite images and drone footage have shown how the futuristic city is gradually taking shape with the excavation of a long trench. Region 2, Oxagon Set to be built on the coast of the Red Sea near the town of Duba, Oxagon is planned as a floating port city to connect with ships traveling through the Suez Canal. The distinctive octagonal port, which was designed by Danish studio Yarki Ingels Group, will be located partly on land with a large floating structure protruding into the sea. According to the developers of Neom, this offshore section will be the world's largest floating structure when it is completed. Along with the port facilities, the development will contain a cruise terminal and oceanographic research center. Oxagon will be run solely on clean energy and it will become one of the world's most technologically advanced logistics hubs, equipped with technologies such as the Internet of Things, human-machine fusion, artificial and predictive intelligence, and robotics. Region 3, Trojina Trojina is planned as a ski and adventure resort in the mountains of the Tabuk region of Saudi Arabia, around 50 kilometers from the Gulf of Aqaba. Trojina will be in the center of Neom where there are some of the highest peaks in Saudi Arabia at approximately 2,600 meters above sea level. The resort gained global attention in 2022 when it was announced that it had won the right to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Being master-planned by German studio Lava, the development will be arranged around an artificial lake with one mountain topped by a ski resort. The development will also include a 330-meter-tall skyscraper named Discovery Tower designed by Zaha Hadid Architects. Trojina will also feature hotels and other attractions. Construction on Trojina commenced in December 2022 and is slated to welcome its first guests in 2026. Region 4, Sindala Planned to be the first to complete of Neom's 10 regions, Sindala is a luxury island resort that is under construction in the Red Sea near the planned site of the line. Sindala will be Neom's first luxury island and yacht club destination in the Red Sea. 
The Sandala Island intends to have no cars and even no roads because the goal is to have all the vital services and amenities that people require within a five-minute walk. The island will feature a prestigious 86-berth marina, an ideal destination for accommodating luxury yachts. Providing a range of maritime experiences such as snorkeling, kayaking, kite surfing and scuba diving, Sandala will offer 400 ultra-premium hotel rooms, in addition to 300 top-end service departments. Sandala is also expected to become a popular golfing destination. The island will be home to a world-class golf course that will have 360-degree views of the Red Sea. Sandala is expected to start welcoming guests to enjoy its exquisite facilities and exclusive offerings from 2024. Region 5, Lija. Let us introduce you to Neom's fifth region, Lija, a captivating development nestled within a valley with 400-meter-high rocky walls. Lija will contain a trio of luxury high-end boutique hotels placed at nodes along the winding valley. The project boasts an adventure hotel, an oasis hotel, and a wellness hotel. The Adventure Hotel comprises a series of stepped volumes that cling to the rockside, forming cantilevered terraces and swimming pools. The hotel is intended to provide a base for tourists to pursue rock climbing and other high-octane activities. The Oasis Hotel is a cluster of geometric formations rising from the rock. It will feature a mineral garden and hanging gardens, as well as an observation deck and a rooftop pool. The Wellness Hotel will comprise two vertical mirrored volumes facing each other and will have an entire floor dedicated to wellness. Rooftop pools will crown the mirrored buildings. Aligned with Neom's overarching strategy, 95% of Lija's expansive landscape will be designated as a nature reserve, blending innovative ecological design with construction techniques that integrate with the environment. Region 6, Epicon. Punctuating the Gulf of Aqaba, Epicon will emerge from Neom's desert expanse, designed to resemble a glistening mirage on the horizon. Epicon will be a tourist destination that features two jagged interconnected skyscrapers designed by Ten Design. The jagged skyscrapers, which will be 225 meters and 275 meters high, will contain hotels and luxury residences and be clad in steel. The steel-clad skyscrapers are visualized as being interconnected by horizontal levels that hold an outdoor pool, among other spaces. With sleek and futuristic architecture, the Epicon Towers will be recognized at once by their use of vertical space. Because of their tall and slender massing, the buildings will occupy a relatively small footprint on the desert landscape. Alongside the skyscrapers will be a beach resort with a 120-room hotel and 45 beach villas. The design team envisions the project to introduce a gateway to the future and an escape from reality. Region 7, Serana. Another tourist development on the Gulf of Aqaba, Serana will be a hexagonal pillar-shaped hotel designed by architecture studio Woods Baggett. Designed to blend into the adjoining mountain, the 65-room hotel and 35 private residences will only be accessible from the sea. Comprising towering stone volumes carved into the mountainside, the structure blurs the line between the mountain and the building. Emerging from the rugged coastal terrain, the hexagonal pillars are distinctive, yet complementary to the surrounding mountains and flora. The architecture will pay homage to the heritage of the local area and seamlessly blend into the adjoining mountain and wadi. The design emphasizes relaxation, inviting visitors to immerse themselves in the many facilities including spas, wellness spaces, a signature beach club, and scenic trails for exploration by foot or horseback. Nestled along the Gulf of Aqaba coastline, Serana provides uninterrupted views of the Red Sea. Region 8, Utamo. Also on the Gulf of Aqaba coast is an immersive event space that Neom describes as the theater of the future. Guests will arrive at Utamo via an extended pathway of a garden promenade, featuring more than 50 species of shrubs, herbs, and flowers, before reaching the Grand Hall. The Great Hall will be accessed from a 64-meter-high entrance, clad in staggered stone blocks. 
Combining natural beauty and technology, the venue has been designed to be a place where art and architecture blend harmoniously, providing visitors with a truly unique experience. Sensory experiences will be created using advanced audiovisual systems. Utama will be an innovative space for music events, exhibitions, art installations, and entertainment experiences. It will also include VIP lounges and signature restaurants. Region 9, Norlana. Planned for 3,000 residents, coastal yachting town Norlana will also be built on the coast of the Gulf of Aqaba. The project aims to cleverly blend with the landscape, therefore the buildings evoke the surrounding rock formations and appear to emerge from the mountains themselves. Approaching from the sea, one will gradually notice that what appear to be geological formations from a distance are in fact, buildings and villas. Designed by Architecture Studio 10 Design, the town will have numerous apartments and hotels wrapped around a state-of-the-art 120-berth marina. Therefore, Norlana will serve as an international hub for super yachts, with water taxi services available for residents and guests. The marina will be surrounded by stacked blocks featuring numerous cantilevers, which the architect designed to merge into the surrounding mountains. Norlana will have a focus on sport and also contain a golf course, equestrian club, and tennis club. Region 10, Aquellum. Described as an ultra-luxury upside-down skyscraper, Aquellum will contain hotels, shops, and apartments wrapped around an underwater open square. The facades facing inwards instead of facing outwards. Designers Lava Architecture Studio said, Things are inside out and upside down in Aquellum. It will feature a floating marina that will be located in the sea next to the mountain range and will be the first point of access for visitors. To enter Aquellum itself, visitors will go on a specially designed vessel that will travel on a hidden underground canal. This will open up into what the studios describe as the underwater open square. The building will be centered around a 100-meter-tall central void that rises from the underwater square and is surrounded by a courtyard with walkable paths. The only exterior part of the building, the roof, will contain a space described as a cloud garden. Renders show planted pathways arranged above the void, with the water below visible through gaps in the ground. These are the 10 regions to be announced as part of NEOM and we are eagerly waiting to see these projects come to life. It is surely interesting to see how NEOM has been progressing over the months. We look forward to bringing you more updates in the near future. What are your thoughts on NEOM's new regions? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.